finding the molecular formula and the empirical formula. In this video you are going to learn the following. Define the terms empirical and molecular formula. Deduce the molecular and empirical formula of a compound, given its structural formula. Calculate the empirical formula of a compound, using given data. And calculate the molecular formula of a compound, using given data. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more videos. Let's deduce the molecular and empirical formulas of butane from its structural formula. The structural formula of butane shows that the compound is made from two elements, carbon and hydrogen. Now you need to count the number of carbon atoms in the formula. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have total of 4 carbon atoms. Now, let's count the hydrogens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. The total number of hydrogen atoms is 10. Therefore, the molecular formula of butane is C4H10. To deduce the empirical formula from the molecular formula, we only need to find the ratio of carbon atoms to hydrogen atoms. Now let's write the ratio of 4 carbons to 10 hydrogens in its simplest form by dividing both numbers by 2. And this will be the empirical formula of butane. Now we have three different types of formulas for butane. The molecular formula, the empirical formula, and the structural formula. The molecular formula consists of the chemical symbols for the constituent elements followed by numeric subscripts describing the number of atoms of each element present in the molecule. The empirical formula represents the simplest whole integer ratio of atoms in a compound. The structural formula shows the arrangement of atoms in the molecule and it consists of symbols for the atoms connected by short lines that represent chemical bonds. Let's have another example to understand how to deduce the molecular and empirical formulas from the structural formula of a compound. The displayed structural formula of butanoic acid shows that the compound consists of three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. To deduce the molecular formula, we need to count the number of atoms of each element in the structural formula. Here we have four carbon atoms, eight hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. Therefore, the molecular formula is C4H802. To find the empirical formula, we only need to get the ratio of carbon to hydrogen to oxygen. Let's divide all the numbers in the molecular formula by the lowest figure to find the simplest ratio. The empirical formula is gonna be C2H40. Now I believe that you know what the molecular, structural and empirical formulas are. In this part of our video you are going to learn how to calculate the empirical formula of a compound, using given data. Please keep watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos, and if you have any question, or you need help with chemistry, feel free to drop it in the comment box below. Calculating the empirical formula of a compound, using given data. Example 1. A compound of carbon and hydrogen contains 80% carbon and 20% hydrogen by mass. Calculate the empirical formula of this compound. This question is solved in three simple steps. Step 1. Note the percent by mass of each element in the compound. From the given data we know that the compound contains 80% carbon and 20% hydrogen. Step 2. Convert the mass of each element to moles by dividing the mass of the element by its atomic mass. Break out your periodic table and look for the atomic masses of carbon and hydrogen. Step 3. Divide each mole value by the smallest number of moles calculated in step 2. And round to the nearest whole number. The empirical formula of this compound is CH3. Example 2. A compound was analyzed and found to contain 13.5 grams of calcium, 10.8 grams of oxygen, and 0.675 grams of hydrogen. What is the empirical formula of the compound? 
Let's follow the same steps that we used in the previous example. Step 1. Start with the number of grams of each element, given in the problem. Step 2. Convert the mass of each element to moles using the molar mass from the periodic table. Step 3. Divide each mole value by the smallest number of moles calculated in step 2. And round to the nearest whole number. The empirical formula of this compound is CaOH2. Now you have learned how to calculate the empirical formula of any compound if you are given the percentage composition or the masses of all the elements making the compound. Please remember that you always need to use the same steps. To calculate the number of moles in step 2 you need to divide the mass of the element by its atomic mass. Please keep watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos, and if you have any question or you need help with chemistry, feel free to drop it in the comment box below. In this part of our video you are going to learn how to calculate the molecular formula of a compound using given data. In order to deduce the molecular formula we need to know the relative formula mass of the compound and the empirical formula. Example 1. A compound has the empirical formula CH2Br. Its relative molecular mass is 187.8. Deduce the molecular formula of this compound. This problem is solved in three simple steps. Step 1. Find the relative mass of the empirical formula. Break out your periodic table and look for the atomic masses of carbon, hydrogen, and bromine atoms. In CH2Br we have one atom of carbon of mass 12, two atoms of hydrogen of mass 1, and one atom of bromine of mass 79.9. We find the empirical formula mass by adding up the relative atomic masses of all the atoms present in the empirical formula. The empirical formula mass is 12 plus 2 times 1 plus 79.9 is equal to 93.9. Step 2. Divide the relative molecular mass by the empirical formula mass. 187.8 divided by 93.9 equals 2. Step 3. Multiply the number of atoms in the empirical formula by the number calculated in step 2. Now you need to multiply CH2Br by 2. CH2Br times 2 is C2H4Br2, and this is the molecular formula. Example 2. The empirical formula of a compound of boron and hydrogen is BH3. Its molar mass is 27.7. Determine the molecular formula of the compound. This problem is solved in three simple steps. Step 1. Find the relative mass of the empirical formula. Use your periodic table to find the atomic masses of boron and hydrogen. In BH3 we have one atom of boron of mass 10.8 and three atoms of hydrogen of mass 1. Now add up the relative atomic masses of all the atoms present in the empirical formula to find the mass of the empirical formula. The empirical formula mass is 13.8. Step 2. Divide the molar mass of the compound by the empirical formula mass. The result should be a whole number or very close to a whole number. Step 3. Multiply the empirical formula by the whole number found in step 2. The result B2H6 is the molecular formula.
Please notice that to find the molecular formula for a compound, it is necessary to know the relative molecular mass. Let's consider the following series of organic compounds. All these compounds have the same empirical formula CH2. That is why knowing only the empirical formula of a compound is not enough to determine its molecular formula. In this part of our video, we will have a very quick exercise. Please try it out and write your answers in the comments section below. Exercise 1. A compound with the empirical formula CH4O was found in a subsequent experiment to have a molar mass of approximately 192. What is the molecular formula of the compound? Exercise 2. A compound consists of 65.45% carbon, 5.492% hydrogen, and 29.06% oxygen on a mass basis, and has a molar mass of approximately 110. First, determine the empirical formula of the compound. Second, determine the molecular formula of the compound. Exercise 3. Compound X contains 73.47% carbon and 10.2% hydrogen by mass, the remainder is oxygen. First, what is the percentage of oxygen in the compound? Second, calculate the empirical formula of X. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any question, or you need help with chemistry, feel free to drop it in the comment box below. Don't forget subscription is free.